And we're on our way. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Roy and this is Motorvlog NL. And I'm currently in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And I've uh, been here for about four days now. One day longer than uh, expected. I got a little bit ill yesterday. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Today I'm leaving Ho Chi Minh City. And going uh, into the direction of Dalat. Uh, my next stop is going to be Nam Ka Chien. That's about halfway to Dalat. And the plan is to stay there one or two nights. They say I have to turn here. No. It is possible. there I'm not allowed to drive on the two left lanes this is for motorcycles I'm not sure which one to take I hope I'm taking the right one no, it doesn't matter but uh, like I said um, the goal today is to get to Nam Ka Chien. That's about, uh, that's uh, northeast, if I'm saying that correctly, northeast from uh, Ho Chi Minh, in the direction of Dalat. The trip is going to be about 84 kilometers. Uh, no correction, that's my uh, first initiatory stop. It's about 157 kilometers. Um, which one I have to take? I think this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is the tunnel road. I'm good. This tunnel is... Oh, I was going to say this tunnel is, tunnel is cold. But I can't read it anymore. Han Tan... Something. I will leave it in the... On the, on the bottom of the screen. The speed limit for motorbikes in this tunnel is 40 kilometers an hour. It is fun to drive here, by the way. For driving in Ho Chi Minh City, and I'm guessing that it's going to be the same for Hanoi, you have to be either one or two things. One, you have to have skills. Yeah? You have to drive a motorcycle in your home country. So you have to be familiar with what the bike does, what it can do. Right? Or two, you have to be a complete idiot. Fortunately, I'm hoping to be the one in number one and in case you're wondering yes I have a motorcycle license and you've seen me ride in the Netherlands I have a full license I uh, have an international driver's license And depending on what's, which website you're looking at, they're telling you if your international driver's license is valid or not.
these are toll uh, gates and motorbikes don't have to pay toll so I can use the bike lane and just go through to make a U-turn here because that's actually the road making the U-turn but I have to go I think I'm not sure I think I'm going in the wrong direction now. Yep, that was the wrong direction. Damn, now I have to do this complete clover again. the right road tracks Place to be, guy.
that was my pin lock. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I have to go up. Down would have been easier. But I'm not allowed to go there, so I'm not going to. And this is much more fun. <laughs> and actually not that hard. Oh, look at this. They're throwing out all the junk. My God, this is beautiful. Apparently this road is closed uh, because it's uh, uh, a nature reserve or something. Because this whole area I'm crossing, the main river, the main lake, try to show you on this map, this is kind of a peninsula. I will try to make a map and put it in the video. The normal route to my destination today is on the right side of the, uh, the lake. I opted for the left side because I wanted to go through nature and uh, yeah, not only main roads, cities. I'm on an adventure bike. I want to do some adventure. And apparently I am going to come across some uh, gravel roads, so let's see how that works. I never drove gravel before, and I have street tires. For some reason they didn't change out the tires for the 50-50 tires I asked for. That's a little bit unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is.
dobre. Here are the gravelly roads. We lost it. <laughs> okay. We have to go over there, but I'm not sure if I want to. And it's exactly what I was afraid of. Well, I got the back, uh, the bike back uh, up. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came from there, and it wasn't that high or deep, but it goes sideways. So my front wheel slipped, and I had to remove all the luggage in order to get the bike uh, back up, and then push it out. I forgot to take the key out of the top uh, pannier, so I couldn't start the bike once it uh, was upright. But I'm gonna cool down, take a little break, 
and then we go further up the road and God knows how many times I have to pick it up today. So, oh, I think I was a little bit high, but you get the point. See you in a bit.